Well, hello, Sagittarius. It is CJ. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well, Sag. Um, this reading is going to be for whenever you come to it, but uh, my intention is for Friday, August 18th. It will be a general read, as always, unless my guides take me down a road that is going to be very poignant. Um, Saggy, thank you so much for all of your love and your comments, your likes, your subscribing. Reaching out to me, you mean so much to me. Please know from my heart to yours that you genuinely make a difference in my life and I don't know what words to say other than thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my love. All right, so Sag, so let's get into your reading. We're going to start with talking about what was coming towards me um, as I was meditating on your energy. Um, might not make sense for everyone as always because it is a general reading it's not, it's for the collective it is not a one-to-one -one. um if you are wanting a private reading from me all that information is down below of course um but i kept getting this song in my head um now i don't know who it is from i think it's quite an older song um although i'm not exactly uh young <laughs> um but i don't remember what year it would have been or anything but it was that song of um ain't no i think it's ain't no mountain high enough um I don't know. I don't know all the words. It just kept going round and round like a loop in my head as I was prepping the decks. Um, I just got this feeling of you overcoming a lot um, over this next well, perhaps on Friday, perhaps whenever you come to this reading, that you're going to get to this place where you, like the song says, there is no mountain that's high enough. You will be able to cross it, Sag. It felt very positive. It felt very uplifting. Um, and it, I just feel like there's a message in it. Maybe the, maybe that's a song that you listen to. I don't know. Let me know um, in the comments down below um, if that song is relevant to you um, because I haven't heard it for a very, very long time. Um, but it felt very fitting for this reading. So, Sag, that's where we're going to start from. We're going to open up with getting you a color card. Uh, Secret Language of Color is the deck. Um, whatever color comes out by my guides, if you wish to utilize the vibration of the color, please feel free to do so. That You can do it with a candle, you can do it with a flower. Um, you know, whatever color comes out, you can use it to focus on what you're wanting to bring into your life, into your 3D world, okay? So let's get started without further ado, all right? So let us begin. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius what color would be beneficial for them whenever they come to this reading for those that this reading is meant for. All right, let's begin. Okay. On the bottom, we have white. Lighten up. Okay, that kind of makes me laugh because um, a few of the Sagis that I know personally, um, obviously we are a soul tribe here, there has been tension around them a little bit more. And I know summer months, depending on obviously where you live, things can get a little more hectic, a little bit more stressful. Um, you know, it's not always uh, rainbows and um, unicorns when it's summer months, right? We can have a lot of pressure. Um, this card is about lightening up. And what I've noticed around some Sagis that are near and dear to my heart, there has been a little bit more of that energy of, I've even found myself saying to them, you know, take a breath try to relax, try to focus on um, what it is you're wanting in your life and not putting so much energy into what is overwhelming you. So Sag, white might be a beautiful color. Um, you can go out and get yourself a nice white tulip if you like flowers. It's number 24, that is a six. Sixes are all about bringing in a beautiful balance, right? So there is right off the top, spirit saying, you gotta kind of just take a breath and relax try to lighten up a little bit regardless of what's going on in your life um, or this could just be the reminder that maybe you've been pushing you know the candle from both ends and you're needing to just take a break um, again though that song ain't no mountain high enough I, I I didn't look it up I didn't do any of that kind of research because I'm in meditation mode channeling mode but I don't know maybe there's something in that song that look that that um, correlates with this white color. All right, let's see what spirit has for you. All right, beautiful spirit, thank you for guiding me in this reading for Sagittarius. Show me clearly what color would be very beneficial for them if they so choose to work with it. Okay, yep, thank you. Wow, aqua, I love this color too. Um, beautiful, this is all about experiencing peace and calms. Do you see there is a definite thing going on here in this reading? It's number 33, Sag, so again, adds up to six. Threes also for me though are, you know, if you think of, if you're religious, that would be like, you know, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I tend to look at it more spiritual. The number three is about your power, you know, your beautiful mind, your beautiful body, and your beautiful soul coming into alignment where you can feel relaxed. If you take a look at this card, this gives me the, the, the vibration. If you're lucky enough to live around water, 
Maybe you have a pool. I don't know. I don't. Um, that would be really lovely. This has given me that energy if you're a swimmer, you've ever lied perhaps on a pool um, where you're able to just float on your back and look up at the stars, look up at the sky, um, depending on what time you're in it. There's a peaceful energy coming through this. My camera is kind of wiping out the color, but hopefully you can see it. It's very calm and very peaceful. I feel that's what spirit is asking you, if this is your reading, Sag, to try to lighten up and do things that are going to bring some peace and calm to your center, to center you um, with whatever is going on here. Sensing this need to almost recalibrate your energy. Um, if you've been going hard at something, you know, whether it be a relationship, a career, moving even, whatever it is, we're all on different paths. Beautiful energy though. So aqua, you know, um, maybe you can find some, an aqua crystal or something that you could have around you that will envelop the urge, the desire, or even attracting that vibration to help bring calm and peace into your world. Bottom of the deck, we have rainbow. Connect to spirit in nature. It is number one. So it is that magician kind of energy here, Saggy. So connect with nature. I mean, obviously, if you're around and it's raining somewhere and you can see a rainbow, that would be beautiful. But that's not what the card is about. It's really about getting out there and connecting once again with nature. Um, going for a walk, taking a blanket and putting it on grass at a park, in your yard, looking up at the clouds, looking up at the stars again. Like They keep giving me this. Um, very interesting. Because in my mind's eye, I'm actually seeing... Hmm. Maybe this is going to be for someone who's been out camping or something, lying on a blanket. There's mountains kind of or hills around and looking up at the stars. I don't know. Okay, that's what they're giving me. But so it's this. there's a message coming in here for this reading that is Spirit's way of saying, getting out of your head, getting more into your heart chakra and allowing groundingness to come through is what I'm feeling. Because I feel like this is going to, it's almost like there's something around the corner, Sag, that you're going to need a lot of your energy, but it feels very positive. And it's almost like spirit is coming through to say, take your break now, um, refill up your bottle, um, get really, give a lot of nurturing energy to yourself because I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of potential coming towards you. I don't know what this is about, but this is what they're giving me in my, um, in my intuition here. Let's get an animal card. Let's see what wants to come out there. I feel drawn to the deck. On the bottom, we have swan. This is about beauty. Now it is number 20, so that is a two. Twos for me are about choices or are also about, you know, a partnership, whether that be in love, whether that be in career. But there's something about this card that I always find a little bit fascinating, and they're giving it to me quite, quite strongly here. There's a woman in water. She is naked, so she's therefore vulnerable. She's got her eyes blindfolded, and there is a swan above her. Um, she is trusting. She's trusting the process here. There's something about you trusting the process of where you're at, where you're going. Almost, almost like spirit is saying it is okay for you to be more vulnerable. You don't need to see every single step ahead in order to have peace and calm in your life and that things are working out behind the scenes. It's followed by hyena, which is about fear, Saji. So fear might be kind of getting in your way. You might be overthinking something um, and it might be kind of keeping you at stalemates is what I'm hearing. Um, it is number 38, that is 11, so again, that is a 2. Let me show you the card. So you may be in the process right now, somewhere in between worry, fear, and then having this abundance and a renewal of solid foundation. But again, I'm not getting yet whether this is like about love or um, family or, you know, the, the path that you're on. I, I'll leave it for you, Sag. You know where you're at. Let's see what spirit's going to give you for an animal card. All right. Show me clearly, please, beautiful spirit, for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for. Sag, it feels exciting. Okay, way too many, spirit. Way too many, but you know what is interesting. I'll take the first. We have... Oh, hold on. Okay, wow. Okay, this is a lot. This might be a long reading, Sag. Can't help it. It's what spirit gives me. That's my job to channel it. 
We have a uh, groundedness. This is our armadillo. Wow. Feeling like you are on the process. You're on the, what is this word they're giving me? Precipice? Precipice is what I'm hearing, okay. Precipice of something big coming towards you um, that I do feel will change will change some part of your life, maybe a lot of your life in a very positive way. So keeping yourself grounded. It's going very beautifully with this peace and calm and connecting to spirit in nature. Even that white card that we had, which was about lighting up, keeping yourself grounded. And Sag, you are represented by the uh, temperance card, which is all about staying grounded and patient and um, centered, right? Even if there's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts going on, um, keeping yourself just calm, like a nice steady vibration is what I'm getting because you're going to be getting prosperity. We have the peacock and they did guide me to take all three. So we will peacock is representing being seen, um, you for your talents, for you, how you are, who you are, um, how you love. Even this could even be a love reading here where, um, if you're interested and you're open and you're not in a relationship where someone might be coming towards you, that might be really in alignment for you. But nevertheless, it is about prosperity here. This is a lot of blessings coming in your way uh, towards you. Now it is 39. Um, so didn't we just have 38 with beauty? I can't remember. I'm channeling, so I'm not sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure we had a 38. That was a two. Don't know where it went to. Anyways, so it's 39, right? Um, so that is adds up to a three. Once again, the power of you. Um, really this is such a beautiful reading i don't know if i'm doing it justice with the words i'm saying um i don't know it just feels like get your rest get calm get clear stay grounded do things that really put you in your heart chakra as i said because all things feel like they're working out here we have seahorse which is about equality coming coming up <clears throat> it is 14 that is a five so there is a change coming sag and i do feel it's bringing equality into your life in some way so you know this could be you getting some raise or you receiving that promotion or receiving that job offer that really brings a lot of financial stability to you um it could be meeting that person that again like i said that maybe you kind of gave up and you weren't willing to be vulnerable anymore and maybe a fear right because of that hyena that showed up um as we all have gone through things like that in our life and this person comes in and changes your world. Ain't no mountain high enough. They just said it again to me. Okay, so I don't know, but we have authenticity on the bottom. This is the wolf. Some of you have probably felt like a lone wolf in your life. Could you, and they, I just heard black sheep, which, which is not the same as the lone wolf, but at the same time, it may have a correlation for you. This is number 17, that is eight. So it is about your life past, Sagi. Um, Beautiful energy coming here. So to remain true to who you are, remain authentic for what matters to you, what what you stand for, your morals, your values. And it, because this is on the bottom of the deck, I didn't say that, and there's new soul family members every day joining us, and thank you for that. Love to have you here. Um, this feels like this is the foundation of your reading of you and it almost in some way feels like it may be connected to this journey you've been on of really starting to get um, uh, um, really okay with who you are and really loving and starting to accept who you are and that is not an easy thing for humans to do here on this planet there's so many judgments there's so much criticism um, it can be very difficult to stand in your own beautiful truth. But Sag, I feel like this is what is beginning. Let me, let me rephrase. Standing in your authentic self and not making an apologies or not necessarily adjusting who you are for the, for how, so that other people will receive you. Um, and just standing in that light, it is bringing this prosperity into your world. Okay, we're going to see when we obviously we get into um, the tarot, but pretty interesting. So armadillo, the peacock, and think about the peacock when it spreads its wings, right? 
incredible. It's huge. It's so colorful. Goes with the rainbow here, the colors. Um, you know, and so there's this big... I just want to take a moment um, to see if there's anything else Spirit is giving me here. Um, with equality, I do feel, Seahorse, I do feel that this is suggesting that in some area of your life, things might not have felt equal. They might not have felt fair, Sash. I'm going to just get my water. Um, throat's just getting a little dry here. Um, but again, I don't know. I just feel like you should be very proud of yourself wherever you are on your journey of standing your ground and really being who you are. And that in itself seems to be calling in abundance and positivity and um, something that just is going to be really equal. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to make my cards so I can see them. Um, I get vibrations obviously off the cards. Okay. Let's get into the tarot spirit. Show me what this is about for Sagittarius. All right. Which deck? Okay, let's begin. This peacock is just, I gotta show it to you, it's just jumping off. And even the third eye, you know, the third eye right here, really illuminating. Um, meaning, listening and trusting what your third eye is showing you. Allowing it to guide you. Wow, we have the nine of cups on the bottom. Wish fulfillment. This is that very positive, happy card. Things really starting to work for you. Again, I keep getting this feeling of really important for you to make sure you are in this calm space because it feels like something big is coming towards you. That could be, like I said, life changing. We have the Page of Wands next. This is your energy, Sag, Aries, and Leo as well. This is about, you know, a new beginning in your passions. It's wands, so it's action, it's fire, it's creativity, it's entrepreneurship, it is love, right? Um, it's different than the cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, because this is emotions and relationships, but it's still, how can you have a really good relationship if it doesn't have passion involved, right? Just wanna see the next death, Scorpio's card, Major Arcana, so death, rebirth, something new starting for you. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see what is going on. All right, Spirit, show me clearly for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for. I just heard the word trust. Thank you, Spirit. And now we got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, your energy once again. I love this because this is the energy that I would describe as free spirit. Um, not like like breaking the rules, not um, doing things by the book just to please others. You know, stepping outside of that and allowing yourself to pursue what it is you really want to pursue. Um, beautiful energy here. Bottom of the deck we do have the Tower Sag, so another major arcana. <coughs> this feels very positive though. Something around the corner, they're not giving me a time frame, and usually my guides don't give me time frames because, well, I don't want to go into it too much, but basically they just say it's, that it's just an earthly thing and, um, you know, time is very fluid. So the tower coming in is feels like a surprise. It's going along with what I was saying, that lighten up, peace and calm, Get, getting yourself really kind of grounded and trust, because they just said that, right? Trusting, ain't no mountain high enough. Um, and wow, okay. That's interesting. Out of all the times I've used this deck, I've never seen it this way. So there's a tower, but look at the bottom. It looks like that's a mountain. So this is, I don't believe in coincidences. So there is something coming in that is really going to change the direction you're heading in. And it is bringing with it a lot of good stuff, Sag. Let's see, let's continue. Let's go a little bit more, of course. All right, Spirit, show me what this is about for Sagittarius, Knight of Wands moving forward in the direction you have wanted to and allowing a change to come in that might catch you off guard, you know? Um, it might be something that comes in that you're going, holy shit, I wasn't prepared for that. 
Um, but now I'm ready to open up and be grounded and work with work with it. Ace of Swords. New beginning in seeing the truth. This is the sort of truth. Show me more, please, Spirit. Sagittarius. Ooh, okay, well, wow. that's a lot of cards. We've got the Two of Cups on the bottom. As I was saying, this could be about stepping out of maybe a comfortable, well, nine of wands in the sun, stepping out of maybe a situation or, you know, maybe you've been single and I know it's not all about love. So just bear with me. Um, but this could be, um, really allowing yourself to open up to this, this partner, to someone that is going to be important. Could be also, you know, two of cups for me is that relationship that is in alignment with you, right? Two people that come together, like-minded, like-hearted, they are in harmony and a beautiful balance. Again, this could be career, it could be friendship, you know, it could be many different things, but it is a cups, two of cups. Allowing yourself to open up to new love. Maybe that's why the tower comes in, that you weren't looking, you weren't, you didn't want it, and all of a sudden someone's there. Again, it could, it's going to be all different kinds of things, but we have the two cups followed by the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. You know, this is a destiny card. This is karma. Um, this can be that. It's very positive energy, especially with the cards around it. We've got the two cups and we've got the four of wands, which is celebration, marriage, you know, um, commitment, contract of something that really makes you excited and you're having like a party, a big celebration, Sag. And then we have the Hierophant. So for some of you, this is about finding a true mate that is going to be very equal and it's going to feel very, very blessed and very, like a lot of um, gentle happiness is what I'm hearing. Gentle happiness. Okay. So we got the Nine of Wands in the center and then we have the Sun. Major Arcana, it is Leo's card. Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands. There's that Wounded Warrior determination. See, again, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting this feeling of maybe thinking that, oh, it's not going to work. I'm not going to find that right career. I'm not going to have that amount of money. I'm not going to find the person to, to spend my life with. But then it's almost like spirit is coming through saying, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself and get grounded because things are going to look completely different when this comes in. The sun, abundance, Sag. This is abundance and joy. This is freedom, happiness. It's like one of the best cards really in the tarot because as we know, even on our day-to-day -day life, <clears throat> no matter what you're going through, if when the sun comes out, it still lightens things, right? It, it shines brightly. <clears throat> so I'm going to get some clarifiers. Definitely. We're going to go more on this, but um, whatever this, this may be for you, it feels very blessed. And I feel like you're just, you're stepping in to what you really are, have been wanting and what you've been desiring, but it's also like, I feel like you're getting it. Like it's, hmm, I don't know what the word is spirit. Can you help me out? Um, hmm. Okay. We're going to move on because I'm not, I'm not hearing what they're guiding me. Let's get some more. Show me why the King, Knight of Wands is here for Sagittarius. Where is Sag going? It's fast movement. Um, it's forward movement. Not as fast as the Knight of Swords, but still, I just like it because it's like you're doing your own thing and you're kind of breaking, breaking down the walls. I just heard. Okay. Show me more, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. Hmm. Anything out of this deck, please, Spirit? Three times. Okay, thank you. We've got the Knight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Wow. Major Arcana. And this card on the bottom just came out. It's the Knight of Wands. It's the King of Wands, Sag. Knight of Pentacles is Earth. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is the slowest knight in the deck. It is all about our material wealth, our material things. It's also about our self-confidence how we feel about ourselves, um, but very grounded, right? Because he or she moves very slowly, making each step, but not missing anything along the way. Now I asked that to clarify. So we got the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Wands. 
if this was a relationship, if this was about some kind of relationship here, you may have an earth person coming towards you because look at how this is. It's two knights basically facing each other, but the knight of pentacles is holding the pentacle as in offering. And it might have been a long time coming. Whatever this is, it feels like it has been a long time coming. High Priestess on the bottom, Pisces card, that is about your intuition. It is about, you probably have little had little nudges, you probably have had maybe even dreams where you received what you wanted and then you woke up and you're like, oh shit, that, that was just my dream. But that isn't, it is your unconscious, it is what is inside you, your self, um, you know, your self guidance, it's, it's speaking to you. And often our, our intuition speaks to us through our dreams, you know? Um, so trusting your intuition. And then the King of Wands that just slipped out here, it is about you being in your place, like in your power. Uh, determination, you have won is what I'm hearing. You did it, Sag, whatever that is. Let's continue. All right, Spirit, Nine of Wands. So Sag has been waiting and working and really, okay, um, giving it a lot, five of swords, you know, you've stayed determined. You have not given up Sag, although, you know, mental, mental stuff might've been getting you confused. You know, that thing that I think most of us do, I know I've done it many times. You're hoping on something. You want something to come towards you. You know, can this come? I really want this. I want this career. I want this job. I, I you know, I, whatever it is. And you, you put so much energy into it <clears throat> and then it doesn't come, right? It doesn't come when you're thinking it's going to come. All of a sudden they just gave me this go to the good tarot. Okay. Well, we will then. Okay. Um, but then we can kind of get self-defeating, right? When it doesn't show up in the time that we want it to, whatever this is. And then we can kind of start to undermine ourselves, right? Oh, it's never going to show up. Oh my God, you know, maybe I don't deserve this. Maybe, you know, I'm not worthy of that. Um, maybe I'm not good enough. Whatever it may be. That's why the Five of Swords is clarifying the Nine of Wands. You may have had those doubts and you may have maybe at times have felt like gone and giving up on your dreams, giving up on whatever this is that you're calling, wanting for your life. But you haven't quit. You haven't quit. So Sag, pat yourself on the back. You have stayed strong. You got the nine of pentacles on the bottom. So this is indicating here that your independence, you're, you're able to stand on your own. Also, this could be indicating that um, you are about to receive a lot of financial abundance with the nine of wands. Let's go one more time and then I will go, I will go to the um, good tarot because they really called me to that. Wow, okay, spirit, anything else for the sun? Thank you. The Queen of Cups. Wow. Queen of Cups, Five of Cups on the bottom. Whatever disappointment, sadness, things that you've gone through here, um, really not having a power over you anymore, Sag. This is liberating. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I usually see it as Cancer. Um, nurturing your emotions and really trusting um, that you are on the right path and that you deserve a lot of love and a lot of support. With that sun, I don't know, there's just a lot of good things that are feeling like they're coming through. Now I'm very excited because I can feel, I can feel this energy coming through. Um, okay, let's see what this is about, what Spirit wants. Two of water. Okay, so that's two of cups. Sag, it's either you're going to find the love of your life you're going to find the career that is alignment with you. You're going to find the partner, whatever it is. But it is a beautiful energy of just really loving, calming energy. Let's see what's underneath. The Ten of Earth. Ten of Pentacles. There's that stability. You know, this um, could even mean... I mean, sometimes a ten of earth can represent like big money coming towards you, inheritance, you know, um, but you know, I'm not really getting that energy. Maybe for one or two of you, that could be it. That could be where the prosperity is coming in and it ends up being very bal balanced and equally, equally shared. Um, but the ten of earth is also just feeling like this really beautiful 
grounded, secure, solid foundation. Okay. Oh, and then we have the Ten of Water. So you got the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Whatever this is for you, Sag, I'm telling you right now, I mean, look at this. You got this beautiful Buddha here. It is going to be a beautiful, beautiful experience that you're going to be walking into. Um, so don't allow fear to get in your way. Don't be afraid to be a little bit dreamy. Um, because where you put your focus is where you is what will come true, right? You are a powerful manifester. And it feels, for those of you that this is your reading, it feels that you best get ready because there is going to be something incredible coming in. The greatest love of your life, maybe? Ain't no mountain high enough. I um I don't know. I'm when I'm done this reading, I'm gonna look up what those lyrics are. Um, because it's it just keeps coming through. Okay, spirit, what would you like Saji to know out of a good tarot? What else did you want them to know? Thank you. Queen of Earth, stability, solidness, eight of earth. We got we're getting a lot of pentacles down here. So Queen of Earth. Yeah, she is nurturing. She's very kind, very stable. She's also very independent. She's very wealthy. Um, so this is about a career with the Eight of Earth. You're going to be seeing a big increase in your dollars, Sag. We got the Empress next. Taurus's card. This is abundance, like crazy abundance. Number three, right? So it goes back to that number three of Aqua. <clears throat> Eight of Earth is representing something that you've been working on. Behind the scenes, subconsciously, whatever it is, something that you've been putting energy into. And you be, even if you look at this, it's a beautiful violin. And then there's pentacles that are kind of like the tree is woven in. Um, and there's like a little fairies down here. Little fairy. Bringing you what you've been wanting, what you've been, whether you're knowing it or not, Sag. Um, very powerful card here. Okay, let's continue. So we've got the earth. Queen of Earth, the Eight of, of Earth, and then the Empress. And then you got the Ace of Water. Beautiful new. This is new, 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 new. Like, <laughs> and Sag, we've got the seahorse here, right? All about equality. Things getting balanced. Really beautiful harmony here. And the Ace of Water is represented no other but by a seahorse holding a pearl. You know, pearl of wisdom. Pearl represents also, you know, abundance, prosperity, blessings. Yeah, it takes a long time for the oyster to make a pearl. Um, so there's this new offering coming in. It just feels really great. Okay. There won't be this anymore. The sadness, the disappointment. Okay, spirit. <clears throat> okay, we'll leave it. Anything else then? You have the sun, Sag, you've got the Ten of Cups, you've had the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know, for some of you, this feels like a big life-changing um, uh, thing that's coming in for you. Two of Water, once again. So, Two of Water, just confirming, um, again, that this is in alignment with you. So, another person, another offer, a career, <clears throat> money that's coming in, whatever it is, but it's going to bring your emotions into the most highest vibration. It feels wonderful. <clears throat> For a lot of you, I do feel like this is someone else coming into your life. Um, that is, it's just going to be almost like a match made in heaven to some degree. Seven of water on the bottom. <clears throat> you know how I always say every deck has a different vibration? And that's very true for me. Seven of water typically can mean like a lot of options, a lot of opportunities, but it can be very confusing that you almost like go stalemate because you don't know which to pick. But in this energy, I'm not getting it at all. I'm getting that this is going to be a um, very fruitful connection that's coming in. Um, there's just a lot of offerings here. There's all these gorgeous shells. There's gorgeous fish. And there's no confusion here. She's sitting in what looks like some beautiful coral. And she's just loving all of this, all of these beautiful opportunities that are going to be given to her or him right because non-gender specific rating here okay so i feel like we're gonna go no they don't want me to go again okay so sag 
<clears throat> for Friday or whenever you come to this reading, if you can, because I feel like this is almost like a two-part reading, it feels like if you can take some time to really just trust that everything that you've been calling towards you will come towards you. Hopefully it's all on the positive energy vibration. Um, <clears throat> keep yourself grounded. Allow yourself to do things that are just going to really bring you to this centered feeling of well freedom and trusting and just that deep knowing that all is going to be well for you that's going to give you the energy when all of this comes in the ten of cups the ten of pentacles this sun you know big shift almost like a transformative energy coming through in your reading here um so i love it i love it for you let me know if this makes sense um, I know, again, not everyone's looking for love, so please take it with a grain of salt, the examples that I'm giving you, um, but you can use the energy in any circumstance that you're going through. You are going to be very pleasantly surprised with this that is coming for you because you do deserve it, Saj. You really, truly do. Such lovely energy here, such groundedness. Okay, Saj, so I feel like that's where they're going to, they're guiding me to, to close off. I don't feel like they want me to go any further. Yeah, so that's what we have. Your determination and your strength to not give up on your dreams, because not everyone does that. Not everyone has that conviction. Not everyone can follow through their dreams. Some people give up on it and they just, you know, they might not be very happy, um, but they don't have that determination to keep standing strong and fight through it. Ain't no mountain high enough. I don't know, man. Okay, what? I wish I would have looked that up, but I wasn't guided to, so I didn't. Um, that's where I'm going to leave it, Sag. I'm going to go into treasures. Let's see what spirit has to close your reading up for Friday. Uh, we have value on the bottom. Wow. That's interesting. Let me read it because it may really fit in here. It says, appreciate yourself, cherish, and respect yourself. Do not undervalue your talents. Be prepared. Yes. Be prepared to put a value on your efforts. Every experience is to be valued whether you understand the lesson or not. There may be greater worth in something than you first saw. You know, this is what it feels like too. It does feel like you haven't given up hope. You have value on yourself. Even if at times your mind has, you know, done that fear mongering thing of, you know, not good enough, all that kind of stuff. You fought through it, Sag. And it feels like the rewards are about to come in. Okay, spirit. Let's get one final card for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for, and we will close it off. One card for Sag, please. Ah, value came out again. That makes me laugh. So that's just confirmation that they want you to basically Put a price tag on what you're worth, you know? So if this is an opportunity where you're going to get a raise or a promotion, for example, and just, and even love, right? Don't ever settle. Um, stay strong in what you are deserving of. Value yourself. The more you value yourself, the more you are going to receive. That's what I'm feeling. And bottom of the deck, we have lights. Oof. What was that first card we had? Lighten up, okay? Lighten up. Life is not going to be as fearful as some of you may have felt. It's changing, Sag. So we have lights. Allow more love and light into everything you do. Remember, you are love and light in action. Fear is heavy. Love is light. Do not complain if you are in darkness. Rather, just stop and turn on the light. You don't need to take life so seriously, so lighten up. Um, they just gave me in my mind's eye that um, Ace of Swords that we had out of one of my decks, I'm not sure which one, I can't remember. <clears throat> Again, that's that aha moment, that is that light bulb moment where <clears throat> you are about to be shown that your intuition, what you know you're deserving of, is about to come true. Okay, so it's just that, that I had to say that because it was in my mind's eye. It says, you don't need to take life so seriously, so lighten up. Oh, that cracks me up because you had the other card of lighten up. Um, Ah, and it's right there, once again, just underneath Violet, Violet which has created a balanced life. Lighten up, Saggy. Um, good things are coming your way. Don't You don't need to take things seriously. So that's exactly what it says. You don't need to take life so seriously, so lighten up. 
Be joyous and radiant and your pathway is lit. You can light the way for others with ease and confidence at this time as well. Okay, so Sag, very positive reading here. Um, I think you might be blown away with whatever is coming towards you, that this does feel very good. Um, big success. I don't know, I just feel your heart is going to feel really happy and joyful. Um, but it's all due to you standing your ground, staying authentic, not giving up, you know, and allowing yourself to dream big and to know that dreams do come true. And they do. They do. All right, Sag. So with that, that's where we're going to close out your reading for Friday. I hope this helps in some way. Um, thank you again for just being here, being part of my life. I love you. I adore you. I very much want the very best for you. May all of your dreams come true, Sagittarius. So until next time, big kisses, huge, huge hugs. Hopefully you can feel it. And we'll see you next time, Sagittarius. All right. Take care.